Hi Bestie, welcome to this live on you. On today's video, we'll be talking about hell love. Why are you having hell love, Bestie? Why, 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 why? Why are you having hell love? So, on today's video, we'll be talking about horses for heaven. Be right back. Welcome back, Bestie. So, we are going to dive into the video straight up. So, number one causes of hair loss, why you're having a hair loss, could be genetic. Have you tried finding out if in your family you have hair loss conditions? It might be genetic and you do not have any medical condition. So, you just find out the causes. So, I'm giving you so many series, up to eight or more. So, in these factors, find out where you belong and find out why you're having a hair loss. Right before applying um, buying hair cream, what works for you, what works, what do not works for you. Go first, find out why you're having hair loss. It could be genetic. Some family don't have hair. Some family do. Right? It could be genetic. Secondly, it could be medical condition. Yes, maybe you're having you're suffering from a particular disease. There are diseases that cause hair loss. You could be on medication, like medication like you are under uh, cancer treatment. Medication that uh, when you're taking those drugs, you are having, you are tend to have a hair loss due to the drugs, right? Or you could be pregnant. Some pregnant women suffer a lot of hair loss. Childbearing could be stressful. So maybe due to childbearing, you having hair loss, right? It could be physical or emotional stress. Physical could be you went to a surgery, right? And the process of the healing is very slow. And you are healing gradually. And due to the surgery, you have your hair loss. It could be emotional stress. It could be emotional. It could be ill. Stress talk. Factors like this could cause you hair loss. Find out where you belong. So you stop worrying yourself about hair loss. There are one time that I used to have lots of lots of hair loss, hair damages. My hair wasn't so healthy. I have to trim up the hair, go for virgin hair. For a while, I was on virgin hair for a year, but I couldn't stand virgin hair. Trust me. So I was in virgin hair. I'll show you the picture right here. So from there, I started growing my hair, virgin hair. Then I started applying some, you know, I started making my own shampoos. Shampoos that are healthy for my hair. I realized that other shampoos contain lots of alcohol and they damages my hair. So I begin to find out what am I not doing right, what am I not doing wrong. And that is how I got to a point that I found out the right treatments for my hair, the right conditions for my hair, the right oils for my hair. And before you know, voila, this is what I'm having. We are moving to the next cause. You could be having, it could be a tiling tools. You, you are always stretching your hair. You are stressing. Leave this hair now. You must stress this hair all the time. Like I'm saying, like your styling tools, your treatment, your hair treatment. Find out what works for you. Go first. Find out why you are having a hair loss. Is it due to so many reasons that I've mentioned? Because I'm still mentioning more. Just stay tuned. There are so many reasons why your hair could be lost. Maybe the shampoo you are using is what causing your hair loss. Your shampoo alone can damage your hair. Because if your shampoo contains lots of alcohol, immediately after washing your hair, your hair immediately dried up. Your scalp will always be very, very dry. Your scalp will always be dry. So why, why, what shampoo can you use to make your hair, your scalp not to be dry? Styling tools, leave this hair alone. Stop using styling tools on your hair. Reduce it. Do you use the number of styling tools you use on your hair? In fact, your natural hair needs to stand out like a queen. Trust me. Reduce it. Just follow my process. If you are watching this point, like, share, ask questions. It could be aging process. Yes. Maybe you are aging. I don't know what right age that might make you have a hair loss. Your doctor could really tell you that what aging process could actually reduce hair loss to make you have a hair loss. So when you're aging, is your lifestyle. You're aging, yes, you're getting to that point, and that's why you're having hair loss. 
his understanding than you just being healthy you're not on any medication you're not stressing and you're having head loss you know it should be checked out to find out why you having head loss some of my tips i'm giving you check back find out it could be environmental factors yes environmental factors can lead us to having hair loss i want exposing your hair like where is my hair or when i pack it yeah and you're always on the sun you know this is a way that could be very harsh trust me you're always exposing your hair the weather can really really dry up your scalp so if you if you know that you might work under the sun for a while is that that you braid your hair corn roll and put on a wig or a scarf to cover it when you're out of the sun the period of out of the sun you could also so environmental factors could actually cause your hair loss your lifestyle what you eat exactly what we eat also enhances our hair growth trust me what we eat matters what we eat is very very important our lifestyle how often do you exercise how often do you exercise exercising could also help you in you know making sure you're healthy exercise is very important for our hair and it's also very important for our hair growth i'm serious so find out what you are doing wrong what you're doing right that is making you have hair loss i hope with this few points of mine you could be able to find out exactly what is causing your hair loss if you are watching this point like share subscribe and give us a thumbs up thank you for being with us see you on the next one